guys, I'm Voltage Giant 74 here, playing Scum on PC. Uh, this is gonna be episode one. Just starting a brand new game. I uh, just created my guy, built him the way I felt might be best for everybody. We'll see. Okay, so my guy. It's actually landing close to a town, which is awesome. I might actually be able to get some loot for once. Now, from what I understand, this game is not easy. It's, uh, people die a lot. Oh. Like, I'm probably going to die right now. Nope. Nope, I forgot you got to, uh... You got to deploy Secure pretty soon. Secure communication with human asset established. Greetings, so you can break human your asset. Welcome to Scum Island tutorial protocol provided by the Tech One Corporation. Some rocks, My designation guys. is Dual Energetic Entity Neural Appliance Ordina. I am an artificial intelligence created by the Tech One Corporation tasked with overseeing the Scum Show protocols including the preparation of human assets. If you wish to activate the tutorial please do so on your journal interface. Secure channel closed. I'm good. I'm gonna find some rocks. So we can find some rocks so we can build a spear. So we can fight some zombies, or I guess, I think I heard someone call it puppet, but they're zombies nonetheless, so, because they were people, they died, and now they try to kill you, and I'm assuming eat you as well. This is crazy, I knew it'd be so hard to find a rock. I don't know if that's enough to craft a stone knife, which it is. Awesome, okay, great. That is awesome. So we have our knife now. Uh, put it in our hand. And then we'll go ahead and cut this bush down. Alright, so long wooden sticks. Built two of those. Uh, crafting. Now I just gotta figure this out. Okay, wooden spear. Make one of those. I should be able to make two of them, I think. Or I might need to make another knife. I'm not sure. No, I don't. Okay, let's see what how this goes. Inventory. We got improvised wooden spear, so that's good. We got logs. We don't need logs. Not yet. At least. I'm good and I think I just dropped my knife. I didn't okay. I'm gonna load this up. Who knows if there's gonna be a zombie? Or a puppet, whatever you wanna call them. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can find some loot first. Might be luck with the draw. Small screwdriver, that might come in handy. Bolts. No good right now. Not even sure what bolts do. I don't know if uh, when you find vehicles you have to fix them or not. Like a daisy, you have to. Beanie might be good. Hallway mask. Cool, whatever. Daisy, you have to, or used to have to, fix your vehicles in order to drive them. 
see Crocs. I personally do not like Crocs. I think they're very ugly. My wife, though, is a huge fan of Crocs. So she heard me say that. You might be hearing me screaming bloody murder. murder. she be smacking me all over the place. I'm just kidding. Uh, she has like five pairs. Five pairs of Crocs. Absolutely insane. But to teach her own. Oh, I don't know why I have two. Also, guys, cool lesson. If you're looting, uh, if you go in this right here, it'll automatically put your stuff in your inventory. Will you guys hear that? Hear that zombie? So this is going to be a learning experience for all of us. I know a little bit. Not too terribly much. I just know based off what uh, the game told me. Okay. That's a heck of a start. That's a heck of a start. Uh, so I know the basics. Nothing too serious. Like, um, if your guy has to go to the bathroom, if you do not relieve him, he will constantly, or he will eventually go to the bathroom on his own. Which, if you're playing online, could be a very bad deal if you're running away. So, if you have to go pee or poop, you go on the toilet right here and it gives you an option. And if you guys feeling sick, I guess you can make him vomit for whatever reason. Also, if you meet a mech and uh, he, his color is yellow, if you surrender, he'll, he won't shoot at you automatically. I don't know if you give him a little while, if he'll just start shooting at you or what he'll do. Uh, as of right now, that's all I can think of to kind of tell you guys, for the need to knows. Got a zombie right there. Now guys, zombies are very difficult. They're, uh, very aggressive. Luckily, I think... I think I can kill him through this window. Unless he jumps through it. Which looks like he don't. Oh. That's very easy. Sorry, I guess I like guys. Uh wool sweater. No good, no good. Crowbar? Crowbar might be good. No idea. Happy pants. Old sweater. Okay. Also, if you want to run, guys, you just have to, on your scroll button, scroll forward uh, like you're going up. And your character will run faster. Scroll down and he'll go from a jog to a walk. So, that'll be good to know. Because uh, other games you have to hold like tab and W. Or shift and W. To sprint. This one's a little different. I think I actually prefer the scroll way. To me, it's a little simpler. But that's just me. Everyone's different, obviously. So we got some workbenches in here. When you want to start making weapons and uh, fixing stuff and whatnot, that is good to have. Like uh, making metal, metal uh, knives or metal spears. It's good to have. Looks like I did not find a needle in the haystack. Feathers. Not resting in feathers. 
just if I ever make a bow, it'll, uh, I'll know where to go. Or hopefully I can just find some more hay. <laughs> Metal scrap. I'll take that. I'm not in any position to mess with metal yet, but in the future, it might come in handy. Let's see how that goes. Now I'm a little nervous to go further in the city. Obviously, there's more zombies. And I want to live for more than 30 minutes, you know? We'll see though. Start right here. And guys, I did not look to see where we are in the map. I'll take a look in just a second. Okay, need rags. Uh, map, where are we? Okay, we're right here. Uh, this might be dangerous right here. This this city right here, we might find mechs. You can get away with mechs, but they'll definitely put a hurt on you. And uh, I'm not sure how forgiving this game is, is when you're bleeding. My guess is not too forgiving. Uh, also, guys, uh, I did do a little bit of research. So, I learned that uh, if you're bleeding and you decide to run and you're bleeding enough, it can make it worse. Which will ultimately kill you because you'll bleed out faster. So, if you can... If you can manage to not move and just heal, that's your safest bet. That's what you want to do every time if you're if you're able to. Now, honestly, sometimes you're just not gonna be able to, and unfortunately, that just happens. But just so you know, in the future, no, I'm not gonna go fishing anytime soon, so I don't need to carry that. And guys, uh, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, will enjoy this series. As of right now, it is a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully even more fun for you guys. Uh, definitely let me know if there's other games you guys like to, like to play. Or anything like that. I am downloading... Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's a it's an open world game, so I thought I would give that a shot. Cause if I haven't make it uh, shown yet, I'm a huge fan of open world. I like the freedom. I like to have the choice to do whatever you want when you want. You know, so it's just my kind of style. Ever since I played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I just fell in love with it. I wish you could double stack. I really wish you could double stack. And also, guys, I don't know if I, if I pointed at it, but on the map, there's these green areas. Um, I'm not sure what they are. I think it's safe areas. Uh, I've noticed on a few other survival games. Like, uh, you'll get a... Uh, I don't know, a merchant and stuff, and you can buy stuff. So I'm not sure currency, or if it's real world money to buy stuff, or if you actually find money in the game. I didn't look that far into it. More crocs. Um, so, sorry about that. I will... I will go and check one out, and see what it looks like. What, what you'll need and what they might have to offer. Now, hopefully... Hopefully it's a safe place. I would hate to get... 
looking at a merchant and uh, get killed by a zombie. But it's got to be safe, or else it wouldn't be green. Well, that's just assuming. Anyways, more on the looting. No, I think I picked up a can of food. I did. Check, drink, drink all spill. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, it's beer. Dang it, I thought it was a can of food. I might just have to figure out. Uh. Oh, cool. Okay. Might actually have to learn how to go fishing. I really don't want to. Fishing for me is my least favorite thing to do in any video game. Uh, got a sweater. Hopefully, it doesn't make me too hot. Uh, this in my hands maybe not I want to cut this into rags but for some reason it's not letting me Whatever. Any guy can jump like crazy. So guys, I'm really hoping to find myself a gun. Okay. Oh, well maybe we can put that up. No, you can't. I don't know why. Chuck and shells, that's good. Heck, maybe we'll find ourselves a gun. A shotgun. I'm not a huge fan of shotguns and video games. In real life, I'm a fan. Unless you got a, a semi automatic shotgun, then I'm a fan. Go close range and just shoot as many times as I can pull the trigger. But in games like this, I normally prefer to stick to uh, handguns and rifles. Now, maybe if this game, if you get Horde Knights or something, I'd like to shotgun. That way I can potentially hit more. More at once. Oh yeah, uh, another thing uh, I did see that apparently if you find a handgun, it does not come with a magazine. So, uh, so since it doesn't come with a magazine. You, and you find ammo for it, you can only shoot one round at a time. And, uh, until you find the right magazine. So, that makes it a little bit more interesting. It kind of reminds me of DayZ. I didn't really like that aspect. Um, really wasn't a fan of that. I guess I can't remember if I was down here or not. Don't look like it. I think it made it a little bit harder and difficult, but I'm just one of few that might feel that way. I don't know.
Okay, cool. Uh, nails might be good if we find like a bat, maybe. I don't know. Get brass knuckles. I really don't want to try to fight a zombie like that, but I don't have a choice. Oop. This guy might be above me. Freaked me out a little bit, guys. Mm -hmm. Probably shouldn't have done that. Alright guys, I'm sorry I'm a little quiet. Just pure concentration mode. I really don't want to die in my first episode. <laughs> uh, obviously, shouldn't be no shame to that. But, there just might be. Oh. Uh, I don't know if that's really considered a weapon or not. Maybe it is. I don't want no feather. I think there's a guy right above us. He is upstairs. Not sure if metal saw is any good. Find a lot of loot. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how much of this I need or even want. I feel like you guys are going to be mad if I don't try to kill this guy. So... I'm gonna try to kill this guy. I don't know if I checked that in. Okay. How good is this thing? It's 88%. That's 97. We'll see. First guess I'll just make another one. Kind of curious though. Does this actually dig? No. No, it's definitely never digging. Now maybe we can get lucky and kill him through the window. Just 
quickly. I could. Might be the coward's way out. I don't know. I don't mind it though. Who was? We'll go ahead and push that on. Don't want the boots. Don't want the beanie. Don't want none of that. All right, kitchen knife. We'll take that. I don't know. You know what, guys? I wasn't paying attention. I can hold stuff over here. I have room. Also, I have a knife. 76. I don't know, I'll just get them for now. It can't hurt nothing. Not one thing. But right, guys, uh, it's about 26 minutes in. Just a little bit over. I think I'm going to loot just a little bit more. If uh, if there's a, like a crazy moment, I'll start recording. Uh, if I find something cool, I'll immediately start recording. Um, so... Thank you guys for watching and join me for this episode. I hope to see you guys again in my next episode. Uh, bye.